But if you say yes, when no needs to be said, as many people do, especially in the example I just gave, you transform yourself into someone who can only say yes even when it is very clear time to say no. If you ever wonder how perfectly ordinary decent people could find themselves doing the terrible things that the gulag camp guards did, you now have your answer. By the time no seriously needed to be said, there was no one left capable of saying it. This is the thing. This is, the, this is exactly what I tried to articulate time and time again through Peterson's words and Peterson's ideas. That we're all capable of malevolence and evil. And the one reason we are is because, and one reason we become to be, we become to be evil, we become to be malevolent, we become to be murderous, torturous, disgusting uh, human beings and we all have the capability of it, is because we say no, one at a time, right? Well, sorry, we, we, we say yes, one at a time. We don't know how to say no. We constantly say yes, one at a time. It's like, yeah. And it's the little yeses that turn in to these big yeses. Oh, and now you're turning on the gas and now murdering hundreds, thousands, and, and paying a part in not only a sin of omission, but a sin of commission, of both. Because you're, the sin of commission is doing the act, but the sin of omission is not saying no. You're saying yes. And every person is capable of that. And people come along this path that becomes quite treacherous the more you voluntarily say yes when you should be saying no. Is that you? 